Antes de comenzar, ¿quién es peruano? Who's Peruvian? Oh, that's awesome. Who's tried Peruvian food? Okay, awesome. Gracias a Dios que estamos acá, and let's start. All right, so um, I was born in Peru, and then my first job was in Toyota, and then I was a station manager at Shell. And basically, a uh, pipeline broke when I was in Peru, and my boss, the VP of marketing at Shell in Peru, was like, Pedro, you need to fix it because you're damaging the environment. And so we really didn't have access to a software to find nonprofits that are ecological. And so that was a huge problem for us, because at Shell, you have a budget of $30,000 per month for community relations. And essentially, this is the solution. SmileyGo is a data-driven philanthropy platform that empowers corporations to give smarter. All right, so what is our exit strategy? We really believe in the long term, and we really believe that through data science, we're gonna empower corporations to share their compassion with nonprofits, because out of our market research, Many, many, many of the giving programs of Fortune 500 companies are aligned to specific business goals, such as recruiting, retention, and PR. So at SmileyGo, we're trying to solve that problem by streamlining the process of corporate social responsibility through a messaging interface, a search engine, and profiles. The target market, the CSR managers, corporate social responsibility managers of Fortune 500s of two specific industries, Tech and finance. Tech, everyone wants to make their workplace the best for their employees. They want to have that culture of giving, socially aware, environmentally aware. And finance, there's a lot of policy and regulation for the Reinvestment Act that they have to help the underserved communities, Latinos and Blacks, in their branches all around America. Our team, so myself, I'm the CEO and founder. My name is Pedro Espinosa. Joey is our lead engineer, he worked at Google. We have Lisa Ann who worked at Crew. We have advisory and board members from the GSB at Stanford, and Wilson and Sonsini. SmileyGo is two years old. Right now we've decided who, did, who influences the decision-making decision making progress process when you buy a SaaS for corporate social responsibility. And it has to do with diversity, it has to do with HR, and it also has to do with PR. So where are we right now? We've, we have thousands of nonprofits in our search engine and we have 300 registered users. Some of our beta users include Dropbox, we have IBM, and Motorola Mobility. You may be wondering, so is this profitable? Are there competitors? Yes. The first one is JK Group. They started in 1988. This is a pretty stagnant and orthodox industry in the sense that they've been website applications that do corporate giving and philanthropy, and these are all profitable, but they're all very 1990s style. If you look at their user interfaces, it's pretty, pretty old. What makes SmileyGo different is we're smart data rather than raw data. What is smart data? Think of us like a Wall Street Journal article that like, explains to you why you should invest or you shouldn't invest, and think of raw data as uh, Yahoo Finance. It just gives you the numbers. And then by interactive and static, we mean interactive and smiley though, our users, our corporations, the CSR managers, and the nonprofits. They can endorse one another, they can message one another, they can write a review to one another, they can search one another. It's very uh, user driven, a lot of user generated content. However, static, like GuideStar or JK Group, Your Cause, these are more like databases of a lot of information. Milestones. Uh, we went through a Manos Accelerator, which I believe is the first and only Latino accelerator in San Jose in the Valley, so we're super blessed. Uh, we had a lot of failures too. Andreessen Horowitz Demo Day, it was really hard. We got like nailed, but we learned a lot. Then Google Demo Day, then uh, Innovation Academy, and we're a member corporation of the Silicon Valley Leadership Group. We have people backing us up. We recently got the Dean Startup Seed Fund from the Berkeley Haas. And we also got Frankie Baxter, who is the former CEO of the Jeffries Group, investment banking of uh, convertible notes. So once again, these are our current beta users. As I said, corporations really, really care about their image, about recruiting, about retention, and research from Benevity and a lot of American enterprises realize that the more and more time passes, 
Corporations are going to become more responsible. Corporations want to become more socially aware and recruit the best talent because millennials really care about giving and making an impact. Right now, these are our next steps. Uh, as I said, we have three main products, search, messaging, and profiles, and we're going to start doing Series A next year. So we're looking forward to feedback, and thank you so much. Always remember that it is better to give than to receive. another Cal grad actually uh, exposing uh, the benefits of the University of California. So uh, congratulations, Pedro. Um, I met Pedro at Google uh, about a year ago. I kind of didn't understand what the, the, the product is. I'm actually very intrigued because I sit on the advisory board of a bank and recently I was asked to donate my uh, stipend to one of four corporate um, uh, corporate uh, beneficiaries, United Way, something else, you know, two or three other things locally, and I kind of scratched my head and said, why in this world do I have so li little choices? And I think that what I see what he's done today, it's an enabling platform. Uh, but beyond that, I think it actually, using your story about Shell, might inspire me to actually match what is given to me in that opportunity. So I think there's a lot of promise with the platform and ultimately teaching people how to use it. So it's just a real life example. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. You did a great job. Raising, raising a hand, having people interact with you, as well as uh, your enthusiasm and your storytelling. Uh, one suggestion would be less words on your mission statement. They should be focusing on you, not trying to read, because you can't do both. But, you know, I think that you should probably reach out to me. I'll look at chat for more. Thank you, Manny, for sure. Oh, just want to understand a little bit more about the users. You mentioned you had 1,000 registered users and 300, I guess, active users, is that correct? So the 5,000 nonprofits are evaluated, so they are in our search engine. And then the 300 are the concurrent users, the beta users that are testing our software. Okay, so one thing that's really important we, that we look at is traction and how people are using the platform. How, how often are they on it? Like, what does that look like? Yeah, so for Q2 and Q3 of this fiscal year, we're doing the beta stage. So right now we have IBM CSR manager Christina Vasquez and other CSR people just providing the feedback on a weekly basis. And then by Q4, we're actually going to iterate on deploy and launch the official version. And then at that point, you're going to charge people or have contracts or pilots, or what does that look like? Yes, it's going to be freemium. So it's going to be a three month free trial, and then we hope they stay. Yeah. <laughs> Our marketing okay. team is going to try the best. Okay, thank you. Of course. Yeah, so if you look at our competitors, Bright Funds and JP Group, they charge an average of $35,000 annually per user. Um, and it depends how large the enterprise is, so you're not gonna charge the same for a Dropbox than for a Microsoft, right? Um, and what are we expecting to do since we wanna be an all-inclusive platform, include all the features and products that all of our competitors have. So we're, we're definitely aiming to charge more. Uh, it's going to be a tiered business model. 
and it's going to be subscription based, which makes it really easy to forecast your revenue and help you like that. So um, we're going to start charging next year, though, as I said. So right now we don't have the exact details, but I'm happy to meet you again. No additional questions. Oh, yeah, I guess following up on that, I mean, all of these companies. Um, you know, the companies that are sitting here, like you said, they have established ways of giving already, right? The well and grant, which is in the valley. So if you're gonna charge more than these than these other groups, what's your what's your pitch to me? Why should I pay you more to do something I'm already doing when I'm already giving the money away, right? What how does how's it gonna benefit me as IBM or as Genentech or as well, you, you would actually be surprised by the number of Fortune 500 companies that don't use software. For example, IBM, they don't use anything. Like, I talked to the CSR managers, I talked to IBM Ventures yesterday, two days ago, back in the West, for a woman in tech, and she's like, we just use Google to find nonprofits, and it's horrible. Um, people who are currently using, you know, CSR Hub, or Bright Funds, or JK Group, we can tell them, we can charge you less the first year, we'll do it faster, better, and easier. To give you an example, JP Group, customer service takes up to nine months to match the gift for your corporation donation. So uh, right now, yeah, we're a small team. We're like five, 10 people, but we really are focusing on the user interface and customer support. Great, well, thank you. So Responsibility recommendation responsibility. So. One of the hardest things for 